hi everyone in this video i am going to introduce about mass layers for stick diagrams so what do you mean by mass layers and what do you mean by stick diagrams <coughs> before going into the mass layers introduction let me tell you what do you mean by a stick diagram stick diagram is nothing but a rough representation for the layout diagram stick diagram stick diagram is nothing but a rough representation for layout diagrams <coughs> what do you mean by layout diagram layout diagram is nothing but where the transistor is simply replaced by a block nothing but it is like suppose if you are taking a nmos transistor the nmos transistor is just represented in the layout diagram as n plus diffusion and polysilicon <coughs> so this is n plus diffusion and this one is the polysilicon when you are drawing these two in a plus symbol just it represents the nmos transistor suppose if it is p plus diffusion in place of n plus diffusion then it represents the uh, p mos transistor so a stick uh, a layout diagram is nothing but representing a transistor or the entire circuit diagram in a block representation where each and every layer is having the length and width okay suppose if you are taking this uh, particular nmos transistor it is having the length and as well as width of this particular transistor <coughs> okay and this is the length and this one is the width okay so each and every layer is having specific length and width that is just used to represent a particular transistor when you are going to fabricate this type of cmos technology on an in silicon integrated server silicon wafer this type of layers are going to be reposited to create a particular transistor okay so before going into this layout representation i will uh, clearly explain what do you mean by layout diagram and what are the different uh, structures available for the different transistors and what are the different layers i will explain individually in the coming videos uh, in this video i want to explain what do you mean by stick diagram <coughs> this is the if it is the uh, layout diagram the for the same the nmos transistor in the stick representation it is just represented by a stick a horizontal and vertical sticks okay here it represents n plus diffusion here it represents the polysilicon okay that means the polysilicon will be shown in the red color and n plus diffusion will be shown in the green color then red over green is nothing but your n plus diffusion and similarly red over yellow yellow is nothing but which is for the p plus diffusion that is nothing but p mos transistor so a entire circuit diagram is just represented by using in the uh, in the form of sticks a uh, lines that is nothing but stick diagram stick diagrams are the rough representations of the layout diagrams okay so whatever you have drawn in the uh, what is that stick diagrams in the rough representation the same can be replaced by blocks with length and width the specific length and width required then that becomes the layout diagram hope you understand so stick diagrams are nothing but rough representation where the horizontal and vertical lines are used each and every line represents a layer line is nothing but a layer here also it is a layer n plus diffusion is a layer p plus p polysilicon is a layer here also the wire which uh, the line which i have drawn here horizontally and vertically they are representing the wires and nothing but layers okay so before going into the uh, construction of the circuit diagram so let me tell you what are the different layers available and how to uh, use them and what are the colors indicating stick diagrams are represented all these stick and layout diagrams stick and layout diagrams are represented in colors okay it is a color encoding diagrams <clears throat> okay now i will tell you what are the different colors available for individual layers see here the first one is 
layer name and the second one layer color layer name color take into a box like this so first one metal layer metal layer so metal layer is indicated in blue color and i will write the color encoding how you are going to draw the representation of this stick diagram representation <coughs> representation so metal layer first one is metal layer okay everything is a layer here metal layer n plus diffusion is a layer p plus diffusion is a layer polysilicon is a layer okay everything is a layer so first one is metal layer that metal layer color representation is blue color okay i am right now i am using blue color so i am directly taking the blue color as it is and the representation for this one is just like this a line you can use horizontally and vertically no problem in which direction you are using but it should be a line okay a line like this okay and the second one is polysilicon polysilicon is a layer so for the polysilicon the color is red for polysilicon we have to use the color red okay a red color line a stick red color line it is nothing but a stick okay whenever you are finding this red color line in your circuit diagram of the stick diagrams then you can understand that represents the polysilicon <coughs> okay now again third one is n plus diffusion n plus diffusion n plus diffusion is represented by green color n plus diffusion is represented by green color same green horizontal or vertical line green horizontal or vertical line next uh, take again blue color fourth one p plus diffusion p plus diffusion p plus diffusion n plus diffusion are for the pmos and nmos transistors okay in the nmos transistor we use n plus diffusion and in the pmos transistor we use p plus diffusion the color for the p plus diffusion is yellow the color for this one is yellow and the representation is like this a horizontal line <coughs> or vertical line and the next one is uh, what else we have metal polysilicon p plus diffusion n plus diffusion and black color which is for the contact contact which is used to connect two different layers contact is nothing but which is used to connect two different layers so contact which is in black color so take black color and this contact should be in circle contact should be in circle dark circle next demarcation line demarcation line demarcation line is used to separate pmos and nmos structures in the cmos realization okay that is in the brown color mm, i think this is brown demarcation line is in the brown color it should be like this it should be like this okay A dash line okay these are the different layers that we are using in the construction of stick diagrams okay so metal layer which is in blue color a horizontal or vertical blue color line polysilicon which is in red color a horizontal or vertical line 
N plus diffusion that should be in green color. P plus diffusion it should be in yellow color. And contact which is in the black color, nothing but a circle. And the demarcation line which is in the brown color, which should be in dashed line. Now, how the transistors are going to be created using the same strict diagrams? <coughs> so again, transistors. color coding next one representation representation so first one n mass transistor <clears throat> Let us consider the seventh one N mass transistor. N mass transistor, the color coding is red over, I will write here, red over green. The color representation is red over green. So take red color or take green color first, draw horizontal line or draw vertical line okay so now take red color draw vertical line here and draw horizontal line here that means you can represent in this way or in this way both are accepted okay you don't need to have any rule that you have to represent in a horizontally for uh, n plus diffusion or horizontally for polycyclic both are accepted either you can use in this fashion or in this fashion so whenever you are having this type of plus configuration with the red over green that is representing the n mass transistor remember one thing at the center you should not put any contact if you put a contact at the center then it will never be a transistor okay so similarly p mass transistor PMOS transistor, it is red over. So, what is the P plus diffusion? We have yellow. Red over yellow. So, take yellow color, draw horizontal line or draw vertical line. Next, take red color, draw vertical line or draw the polysilicon horizontally. Red is nothing but polysilicon. Yellow is nothing but P plus diffusion. Here red is nothing but polysilicon. Green is nothing but N plus diffusion. Okay. So you can represent either like this or like this. Both are accepted. <coughs> Next one. N plus diffusion. N plus uh, N mass transistor. N mass transistor. Which is in. Uh, depletion mode which is in depletion mode of operation depletion region nothing but depletion mode okay we'll write depletion now so how to represent n mass transistor which is in the depletion region okay same here also red over green red over green with yellow box at the center this yellow box represents what yellow box represents the channel <coughs> i will write here yellow box represents channel because in depletion mode of transistor Channel is already created by the process of ion implantation. Nothing but ion implantation. You can write ion implantation. Okay. Channel is already created. That's why ion implantation should be shown. But in the in the stick diagrams, that is represented by a yellow color box. Okay. So take red color, draw a horizontal line. 
take green color draw a vertical line now take yellow color draw a box at the center it represents ions ion implantation nothing but we can write it as channel okay this is what the color representations of all the stick diagrams uh, different layers and which are used to design the stick diagrams okay in the next video i will explain how to draw the stick diagrams thank you